We've uh, sanded this down pretty good and wiped it all down with mineral spirit. We don't have all the rust off of there, but we're going to make it about 98% better than it was. How am I going to shake this for? We're using rust oleum paint and primer. So we got the wheels back on, we got her painted, and we started running the wiring for the lights, but they're not quite working right yet, so we're going to have to look at that. These are these old school wheels. They just mount right on the axle. There's no lug nuts or anything. So we got that figured out. We had to really hunt around to get the parts for it. But we got some paint on this. We're going to try to roll it into the shop here in a second. We maybe better do that soon. Looks like we got a little front coming. All right, we're going to try to pick up the rest of this wet cardboard we had down here from when we painted. Roll back in here and see if we can figure out what the, what the bunks need to look like to fit underneath our sunfish. Dang, we didn't get that done any too soon. We rolled it in here. It's pouring. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Toby's trying to eat the rain. All right, so now the whole idea is to fit some bunk boards on here on our trailer so that then we can put our sunfish on here. And so I've done a little bit of measuring. And what I find out is that from the very back up to here is 13 foot, nine and a half inches. So not quite 14 feet. My trailer from the back rail up to the, where the nose will fit is exactly 12 feet. So, this boat's going to have to hang off the back of the trailer by about two feet. Well, one foot nine and a half inches to be exact. So, we had two brackets here that we were able to save from previously. And then I bought two more that are pretty much like it that I've installed in the back. Now here, I kind of thought I might want to come in these outside holes. I don't know if you can see that there. There's two holes there, two holes here, same thing. So there's like three, three selections per side of how wide you can go. I'm kind of having to go in the middle because my lights are back here uh, where, where that first one is. So I come into the second one or the one that's in the middle on each side. And I thought, boy, that's kind of narrow, but uh, they're tw that's 24 inches, so two feet. Well, the boat, like here, is just about 32 inches at the front there. At the widest, it's four feet. Yes, exactly. It's exactly four feet at the beam. And so where this is gonna be resting down on here is gonna be probably three feet wide. So with two feet in the middle of a three foot wide boat, that should carry that pretty well. And of course, we'll strap it down. So now, I've just got these just hand tight. So they're gonna probably move up and down, but I'm okay with that. And I wish I would have got my two by fours out of the rain as they were sitting outside. Put these in these brackets where we're hanging off about a foot and a half from the back. See, we'll come clear up to about here, which is where that other roller is. So I really kind of like that. That could be pretty good. So 
So I don't want them to be too high. Of course, my hull has got a V, a little bit of a V shape to it. It's not a flat bottom. So I want my keel to run on these rollers, and then I want the rest of the underbody of the, of the boat to sit on these, on these bunks. Sometimes I'm somewhat amazed. I took apart one of the kids old swing set, oh, I don't know, a couple years ago. And I saved all these bolts because they're really in pretty good shape. Five sixteenths, exactly perfect for what I need to go through these bunks. Try to line up the center with the keel. We're still working on the trailer. We got our jack and got that mounted. And uh, we've got the bunk boards on there loosely, but we don't know where they're gonna be situated yet. And then I bought this runner and I'm gonna go ahead and pull those bunks out, pull this whole trailer out, cut that up and see if I can put that on the bunk board. So we got a little protection underneath the hull. Based on when I had this under the trailer, this needs to come up a little bit. These bolts are super old, but I got them loose just a little bit. Now, I don't know if I can raise that or not. I think I should be able to. Lifts right up there. So much for lining it up. <laughs> okay, so we got these bug boards under here, here, and they're tightened down on the trailer. Um, but I need to raise them up because the boat still is not touching them and it can rock like that. So right here, this can go up. I gotta loosen this top one up just a little bit. And then I should be able to lift this just like that. And so now see, I'm, I'm actually, I don't know if you can see it, I'm touching, touching the bottom of the hull here. So now I'm just gonna tighten this back up a little bit. What I don't know is if the boat's level on here. I don't know if you can tell in the picture there, but port side's high. It's up just a little too much. 
So I'm gonna go back down there and loosen that back up, just drop it down a hair. Let's see what it looks like on this side. Okay, see, so yeah, because that's touching there and that's not quite right. Because I should have had to have lifted that one as well. Okay, we're just gonna keep monkeying with it. Ooh, that might be perfect right there. Let's tighten that. Pull that over just a little bit. We'll go to the other side and see what we can do over there. All right, it looks pretty level. Might be a teeny bit high on star, but I'm not going to worry about it because now, like, it's pretty solid on the trailer. Like I'm moving it, but if I'm moving it, the whole trailer's moving. So we're really good there. And we're really good there. And I like that she's still sitting on those rollers. So that's it for, for fitting it. I still have to tighten this nut up up here. I need to get a little piece of line to put in here. This thing was really old and crusty and rusted, but we put a bunch of WD-40 on it. And it works good. And we got our jack on here. So we need a little line to tie down the front. Obviously we're gonna have to bungee cord or uh, strap strap the boat down if we're going down the road but we have tie down straps for that and that'll be great if you like the video remember to like and subscribe we'll see you next time